Welcome to Prime Learn. My name is Mali James. I'm going to teach Primary 7 Social Studies. We are running on a theme, Living Together in Africa. Our topic is going to be physical features of Africa. Mountains in Africa is our subtopic. This is the 14th lesson and we are specifically going to describe the formation of volcanic mountains. There are a number of types of mountains. We have the block mountains, which are as well called hosts. We have volcanic mountains and forward mountains. In this video, as I earlier said, we are going to describe the formation of volcanic mountains. We shall look at types of volcanoes, dangers of volcanicity, importance of volcanicity, and the features that follow volcanicity as a process. A volcanic mountain is a mountain that is formed as a result of volcanicity. You may be wondering what volcanicity is. Volcanicity is the process by which molten rocks within the earth crust are ejected onto the earth's surface. The high temperature and the great pressure that is exerted on the mantle by the crust keeps the rocks in the semi-solid state. Such rocks are known as magma. Therefore, magma are the molten rocks within the earth crust. Time comes and these rocks are ejected out to the earth's surface. Look at this. I know it is very fun watching, but it is very dangerous in case it happens when you are near it. When the molten rocks are still underneath, we call it magma. But on reaching the earth's surface, it is called lava. There are two types of lava, acidic lava and basic lava. Acidic lava is highly sticky and it flows for a short distance before it solidifies. Basic lava is less sticky and it flows for a long distance. You can see how the ashes in form of gas coming out first, followed by the fire that booms up in the atmosphere and then it begins flowing down the slope. As you can see it, wow. This is beautiful. This comes along with the formation of what we call volcanoes. And volcanoes are of three types. We have active volcanoes, dormant volcanoes, and extinct volcanoes. Active volcanoes are mountains which can erupt at any time. And these ones we have Nyamlangira in Democratic Republic of Congo. We have Nyirangongo, Mountain Mufumbiro in Uganda, or Doinyo Lengai in Tanzania. Dormant volcanoes are the volcanoes that have not erupted in the recent past but still show signs of erupting. Extinct volcanoes. These are mountains that do not show any signs of erupting. For example, Mount Chilimanjaro in Tanzania, Mount Kenya, Mount Elgon at the border of Uganda and Kenya. As magma rises onto the Earth's surface, it forms extrusive features. These include crater lakes, caudelas, and insabags. An insabag is an isolated hill that stands above the general level of the surrounding land. For example, the Sukulu Hills in Tororo. When magma slowly cools down within the crust, it forms intrusive volcanic features. We have hot springs, for example, the Chitagata in Busheni, Sempaya Hot Springs in Bondibujo, and more other features. Thank you so much for learning with me. How important is this process? It leads to the formation of fertile volcanic soils which favor crop growing. That is why 
on slopes of mountains like Elgon, people grow a lot of Arabica coffee because the soil is very fertile. Volcanic mountains attract tourists who bring income. Remember I earlier said it is very beautiful and amazing seeing this. However, it is having dangers associated with it. It can lead to death of people and animals. See the fire, none of the animals that may be near it can survive. It leads to air pollution. You saw the gases that were coming out of the volcano. And it leads to destruction of property. Just imagine if there was a building around that mountain, what would happen to it? Thank you so much for learning with me. You can also describe the formation of volcanic mountains. We have understood very well the features that come as a result of volcanicity. We have understood the importance and the dangers. I am leaving you with a lesson test that I require you to attempt well. You can consult your teacher for moderation and more guidance. Remember to continuously record your scores so that you can get the average mark at the end of each topic and term. Part 1 is the quiz. Find the quiz under the lesson video on the right hand side. Read the questions and the given alternatives from A to C. Click on the correct answer to the question. You will get the score after submitting. Part 2 structured questions. Please follow the link attached. Write down the questions. Answer them first. Click the library button for answers to mark yourself. Watch out for the next lesson. I am Mali James.